Hello and welcome back. Um, just up at the storage, just come to check on the van. We're going away uh, in about a week's time, so I thought I'd come up and, and uh, just have a general look all around it and see, make sure everything's okay. Um, we uh, obviously now, uh, with only me and Angela going away, it's a little bit easier. And in terms of going away, we don't have to put anything else in the uh, caravan, uh, uh, you know, than what's in it. Um, Everything that we're going to take, such as clothes and food and everything like that, can go in the car because there's only two. There's loads of room in the car, so um, we're going to do that. We usually put bits of food and clothes and stuff like that in the caravan, but we don't need to do that, like I say. So uh, all I've come up to do is just to make sure it's okay. Um, and there's nothing extra going to be put into the caravan, and we've taken a lot of stuff out of the caravan. Uh, on our last trip um, that we that we don't need. Before we go away, uh, I always like to check everything in terms of the electrics in, in the van. Obviously I can't hook it up because I've not got electric hook up here. I can't test the 240, but I can test all the 12 volt systems. I've hooked it up to the new tow car and uh, to make sure all the lights are uh, working. I've got to change the number plate uh, on the back. I'll do that uh, probably the morning of, of us going because I need to get some double sided sticky tape to put that on. So, uh, um, yeah, let's have a look around the van. So, it's all as we left it last time we went away, really. Um, uh, and uh, the toy mirrors are still there. And as you can see, there's nothing in the front and all the cupboards. I think more or less, oh there's a fan in there, should be uh, should be empty cycle helmets, they can come out because we're not taking the bikes, there's a first aid kit in there which we keep, uh, uh, bits of food in there, oh some cans of cider, bits of food that we all take with us, they're full of our pots and pans and normal stuff that we take, uh, and then there's, um, I think there's the awning i think there's a carpet underneath there uh, and the george foreman grill but other than that uh, in the front locker there's a gas bottle there's nothing else in there um let's have a look at the power because obviously i fitted that solar panel from shawler uh, the other week and i don't know if you can see that uh, it's looking round about 13 and a half volts it's still charging up really well the, the panel is working uh, and doing what it's supposed to do we'll leave that on we'll put the lights on uh, just give a. What I like to do is just uh, put the pump on and just make sure that's working. I'll just literally put it on for a second and then switch it off. I could hear that working. That's okay. Um, so we're going to go around and just check all the lights. I like to just make sure uh, everything's working before, because the last thing you want to do when you go on holiday is start messing about doing jobs we're only going away for a short amount of time as well i think it's only three or four nights yeah that one's on um there's that many switches in here i forget where everything is they're all working we never use these center lights i don't know if anybody else uses the main light in, in the van um but we never tend to use those uh oh this this here light there we never usually use that one really Again, that one at the top there, we never tend to use that. Um, check these, make sure they're working. I can find the switch. And uh, in the bathroom as well, I like to just make sure that the pump's working. That's working, because we've had that before where that doesn't work. Uh, the chairs and the uh, aqua roll need to move up to the front of the van. I might do that today because we are uh, we're not going to um, you know we're not going to change anything where we loaded in the van. There's a, some stuff I got out of my old car there that I need to just sort out and put somewhere under the bed. Uh, there's nothing under the bed really now. Yeah, there's just a TV, a spare wheel, and two units there. Uh, that's all that we have under the bed now. Check that the, f the fridge is okay. It's looking nice and clean. Obviously, we keep that open when we're uh, not using the van. What I am going to do when we get on site is I'm going to put some uh, Pura Clean into the pipes um, and leave that for, for a while just to clean the pipes because we're not using the van now for. Uh, how long last used it? Uh, I think it was August last time we used it, and it's October now. Um, so we've not used it for quite a while, so it needs to just uh, you know have a rinse through. Um, but everything's looking okay. 
Well, where is anybody got any ideas on this? No, has anybody come across this? When you roll these blinds back, we've got these tiny pinprick. Oh, I don't know what they are. My holes in there. Does anybody know how you can get rid of them? Because obviously they do let a little bit of light in. Um, oh, sh and can you replace that? But I'd imagine that'd be really expensive to to replace that. Um, the whole thing and I think that's the same on the one at the back as well um, yeah there's some small holes in it uh, yeah if anybody knows how you can kind of repair those or clean them just uh, you know put a comment in the comments section below and uh, let me know how you can do that um, because I won't mind taking them out and giving them a clean and uh, trying to repair those I don't want to buy a new, I'd imagine they're really expensive. Outside the van is filthy. It needs to go clean. Um, I need to come up and uh, make sure we give it a good clean. I did clean part of the roof the other week when I did the solar panel, but um, I do need to clean the rest of the van. It doesn't look too bad under the camera, but when you get into it, there's grubby bits around so uh, yeah it needs a good clean right just a just a short vi uh, kind of video there yeah, just uh, having a look around the van getting uh, ready for for going away as I said we don't need to do a great deal uh, with it these days because it's just a case of just picking it up and uh, buggering off and um, that's it so yeah all done I um, don't think there's anything. Oh, I've just got to do the tyre pressures and check the torque settings on the wheels and on the car because obviously with it being new, I want to check those as well. And then uh, jobs are good. And right, that's it for this week. Um, please consider subscribing. Uh, the channel's still starting to grow very slowly, um, and uh, you know I do appreciate the support. Um, so please, obviously, if you've not subscribed, consider subscribing. Uh, and if you are a subscriber, really thank you for your support and hit the like button and the. Uh, the bell icon thing in my bob that tells you when there's something uploaded um, uh, to the channel hopefully we're going to get more content out there but yeah you know i really do appreciate your support and if you're not subscribed why not uh, so yeah that's it almost oh god that wind is dirty right so uh we'll see you soon uh, thanks for watching you take care bye bye